the interview. <laughs> no, you should keep that. You look as the interview. Cause I done. <laughs> What it do, what's the deal? I go by the name, it's Magma. You tuned in to another episode from the block to the booth. I got two special guests in the building. They the first black owned porn company in Detroit. So I'ma let them go ahead and introduce themselves. Starting up? from the right to the left or the left to the right, y'all choose. All right, what's up y'all? Y'all have now tuned in to the hottest, the hottest podcast. In the city, and this your boy Trigger, huh? I'm gonna edit you out. Look <laughs> no, you should keep that. You look as an interview. Cause Good. I done loving hip hop your ass. Extra. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know me as King 27, but right now I'm playing the role of Trigger Draws, who is the comedian of the porn situation. You know what I'm saying? Get my freak on, sneaky deep deep. You know what I'm saying? Sneak a leak. That's what I'm saying. You can talk now. Oh, I can. You done? That's how you talk to me. I'm just gonna Oh, okay, sure. Anyways, it's the one and only your girl, Juicy Dick Fruit. You can call me JDF. She's the owner, by the way. I'm the owner of... Thank you. I'm just the puppet. I'm the owner of Juicy Dick Fruit Adult Entertainment. So, first question I want to ask, I want to ask you, um, Juicy, is what made you come up with the idea about, you know, the porn industry in the city? Like, bringing it to the city? So, bro, when she brought you the idea, how'd you feel? Or did you bring her the idea? It was my idea. Definitely, I didn't bring this idea. <laughs> kept to you. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure. I didn't believe it. Came to me like two more times. I didn't believe it. <laughs> Last time she came to me, she was ready to take pictures. She wanted to start off with the pictures. Now, I remind you, this how this, this how clever we did this. You go on her Facebook, right? Let's talk about it. You go way back. Before she did her first picture, her upload from turning into this model. It started with Facebook model. She was like having like she got like 15 likes on Facebook, maybe a little bit lower. I, I don't know what was going through her head. So when she did the first picture, she wanted to make sure it was sexy, glittery on the chest. Mind you, she was bossing me around. She was cussing me out if I wasn't getting angles and everything. I'm like damn, she's serious. And I was like, all right, let's see what happens. She posted on the Facebook. Woke up the next day, she went from 10 likes to three to 400. I said, ah. Uh. Y'all was made about that, so that's I dope. said, oh, you might be in on or something, then. Then I had to go learn the business of the porn hub and the porn and the artists and how they work and the females and all type of stuff. So hey, as long as she loved it, I'm supporting it. I don't care. So I'ma start with you, King Twenty Seven, bro. Damn. And, and and then I'ma go to her, cause you know, like I think she's more freakier than you anyway. So I'm 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 gonna ask this question: What's the freakiest shit you ever done? Like far as sex wise, with even Tyra or even somebody else or even three songs. Yeah, take my story. Three one Yeah. I don't even know the levels of freaky. It's not no level. It's I'm just you. You can do a million it, things. Look, you can do a. It, it. Uh, answer. Yeah, cause I don't you know. You can do that. Yeah. I'm not even sure. Remember when we was, we was at Heart Plaza on the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, okay. We, we did it on the stairs at Heart Plaza. <laughs> While the cops was walking down by the water. She looking at Canada. I remember that. No, that man. was dope. That was lit. That, everybody, yeah, that, that everybody is. Everybody did that. Yeah, that's the freakiest thing I probably have done. I ain't gonna. Yeah, that's probably. The guy standing over no, the that's not the freakiest thing I've done. So that's the freakiest I did. I don't know what 
probably shouldn't say this, but he asked, so I'm gonna say it. The freakiest thing I've done on a mistake, but I said, fuck it, go for it. This nigga squirted. And somehow I stopped and. You caught it? I caught it while eating it. <laughs> and she was still squirting. That's the freakiest thing I've done. Yep. Yeah, squirt is not piss by the way, people. I was about to ask that next. <laughs> definitely about to ask squirt that next. Definitely not he answered that question way. real quick. Yeah. So, um, like, far as like the backlash from it, like I've seen on Facebook, you know, Tyra post some shit, but fuck people, you feel me? But I want to know how to, what is, I want you to tell the people exactly how the fuck you feel about the backlash from it, you feel me? I'm talking about the, I'm sorry. Everything. I'm talking about the recent post? I'm, I'm just saying, period. Yeah, in general. Just in general. But I saw that. That's why I saw that post, so I'm saying in general. See, I, that's why I said, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what post. I feel like I know what post he talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. He saw. There you go. Nah, there you go. I was waiting for that so, one. <laughs> so, mainly, like, you get haters from anywhere, like, any kind of people where you go. But the backlash from, like, friends, family and friends. Um, I don't think like it hurts me, but at the same time, it's like I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm grown. I have my own situation going on, so it's like just respect what I'm doing. Just or high five me or congratulate me. Okay, I appreciate me. I congratulate what you're doing, but I don't understand it. But you know, high five, do your thing. If you need my help, or call me if you need something, support. I'll be there, but. It really don't bother me. It's going to be a hater anywhere you go. Biggest is going to come from your family. I was just about to say that. A lot a lot come from your family. It'd be people like me and bro and them be like, hell yeah, we support y'all. We'll come to whatever, whatever, you know, yeah. and make y'all rich. You feel me? At the yeah. same time, your yeah. family over there like, I ain't going to shit. I ain't doing shit. You yeah. feel me? Them strangers. I, I, like, I hate to say, make you rich Yeah, I, your family. I hate to say the word strangers because I don't want to. Just use, just use other ones. You other feel ones. Me? Okay. Thank you. Other ones make life more um, ground level for you versus family and most of friends that you grow up with. You did that track. Cause like that, like this is different. You always got somebody in the family that's different. And when it's somebody in the family that's different and the family can't touch or reach of that or whatever the case is, they will never understand it. So because of that, you're always gonna be weird to them. But how is it weird to them when they motherfucking probably looking up the same shit you're doing? It's just because they can't touch those people they exactly. don't have contact to those people they can call me like yo what the hell are you doing but at the same time it's like they still can't control it or yeah. have say about it right. like when we had the conversation um about this whole situation you know you know y'all got kids and this and this and i said you know and i what she said is correct they send it because they they can reach you but i mean i, I did my research on it because at some point i'm like maybe we is doing something wrong but then I I looked up some stuff. I looked up Ice T. You know he's married mm -hmm. to Coco, who's a porn artist. Uh, and then you got Kim Kardashian. She's not a porn artist, but she did what she did. Mm -hmm. She got kids. And then you got Drake baby mama. She definitely a porn star. But she got a kid with him. And what I did was I looked at their social sites. These women do the same thing she do on Instagram and Facebook. They look sexy, bikinis, all that. And then you know what they do? They post their children right after. Right after. Because at the end of the day, you can't stop a mother from being a mother. Exactly. Exactly. So they they only mad because they can reach you. But what comes the problem is when they can't reach you. Like I thought we was family. Yeah, but when you had the chance to reach me, you was on something I couldn't I couldn't get down with. Right. So look, with that being said, like I know the kids young as hell right now, but how do y'all think their reaction gonna be when they figure the shit out? Coming from us, being raised by us, I don't think they're gonna care. We already upfront with them already. And then the fact is, you know. And y'all relationship with y'all kids is like so motherfucking dope to me <laughs> like that shit is so different and dope like especially the videos that i be seeing and shit oh, even man. being around y'all in the same events you feel me like you know that shit dope oh yeah man we, we really do appreciate that hey, when people ask us what you just asked about mm -hmm. the kids it's like well shit, kids gotta figure out how people know about their life like the biggest one we got is super t major yeah. She don't know Shout nothing. out to Super T, but she ain't gonna watch this. Of course not. Cause she don't even watch her own videos. She don't know how her Instagram look, her followers. 
all the celebrities she performed with, she don't know none of they, like she know their names, she never seen their music videos, never seen them in concert, like she's a kid, kid who mm -hmm. just thinking she's Little walking kid around like, removed from everything. yeah, mm -hmm. she walk around like, hey, I perform and go to the studio, but to her it's normal, like it's play play. But to everybody else, they look at it like, yo, you was a dope kid. She'd be like, oh, okay. Okay. I like her attitude anyway cuz I remember when I spoke to her the very the very first time I met her we was at the garden theater and then my sister Crystal she saw me she right, like bro that. bro what the fuck you you I was like yeah I'm in this shit too like you feel me that's when I really started first doing video you know started doing videos with a camera mm -hmm. so um she was like I was like hey she was like hey you feel me oh, <laughs> like yeah. she was like hey like I was like let me get a picture with you I mean, I was like, I was like, let me get a picture of you and your dad, and then y'all stop right there. She was like, gave me a little, a little smirk on the picture and like, shit. Like, what's going on? Like, yeah, she, she be like, she be having her friends and just having fun on stage. Like, even with our daughter, she, uh, the other one, she go to dance school, so she's going dance and have fun. But what she don't know is, she's going viral on TikTok right now with her sister. She don't even know it. So we just keep it to that. All right, cool. Then we got two little boys. But, you know, they're a little bit known, mm -hmm. but they want to get into fashion, even though they're two and four. But our thing is just just to let them be kids as long as they can. And when they figure mm -hmm. out what's going on, then, you know. Yeah, Super T asked me, she said, so well, mommy be doing, because y'all be going out and stuff. And I was like, mommy becoming a popular model. I didn't lie that to her. That makes me. sense, because it lie. is a model. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I, was the, I was like, I can see that. I can answer that part, though. Right. <laughs> Mommy's talking about it. Good, baby. Good. <laughs> All right. That's enough with the kids. Now, I want to talk about this Trigger Draws character, bro. What made you come up with the name? Like, the name. Okay. So, they asked me this yesterday. I just put more information to this now. Because it's funny. Because you guys call me out. Trigger Draws. Trigger the Draws. Panties. She always called me out. And you know what? I used to be like, I ain't no hoe, you a hoe. But then I thought about my body counts. Maybe I am a hoe. So then we came up with the trigger for in the drawers. I was like, shit, you be just trigger draws. Trigger the drawers every time we get a female nigga. I'm like, trigger, ain't no tell her. I might look at her, she's like. And I'm like, hey, bad. You gonna go get her? What we doing? <laughs> Whatever. What about you? How you get the name, your, the name Juicy Dick Fruit? That makes sense. And then check out my videos. You'll find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, last night. Yeah, we did an interview last night. And they was like, oh, we see why. It's called Juicy. Mm -hmm. They're like squirting all across the room. Like, <laughs> yeah, I ain't even watch it. Man, look, look. I'll send you the clip person myself. Look, I'm tired of changing the bed sheets. That nigga say I'm tired of changing the bed sheets. So, look, man. Where do y'all see yourself, like, with the company, like, in, like, six months from today so ultimately besides doing like the the scenes and the photo shoots for me um within just some big entertainment i want to do uh soft porn movies so which they have like the plot the twist and everything in the movies mm -hmm. also they have like the full blown out sex scene you know they cut out those sex scenes in the movies. yeah it'd be the full blown out sex scene with the whole entire movie um, also, we'll get into fashion and things like that. So that's the ultimate goal of the whole entertainment system. I just see myself being a billionaire with it and just hiring more people and then yeah, expanding yeah. and then getting off to other business adventures. Yeah. Um, but you know, when you start your own company, of course, you got to be the one to start it up. Right. And then you bring in the other people. Right. But I mean, it's uh, so far for the website that's coming, by the way, it's the website coming, the Juicy Dick Fruit website coming. Uh, I am involved in it, but you know, she's more on a female t type topic track. So she got more female scenes going on with her and other females and then them by themselves. So, look, what's the weirdest place y'all ever fucked? Like, other than the stairs, uh, like with other people, like, what's the weirdest place y'all ever fucked at? Other than what y'all just told me? With other people or with the, the staircase? The, 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 the staircase at the hotel during the party. <laughs> Wait, hey, my mama might kill me. They gonna tell that. My dude, I love you, my I love you. 
My mama, let me tell you something, dog. My mama sent me to the room to go look for something. I don't know why she sent me and her. <laughs> We was like, was we in high school? Was we in high school? We was in high school. I said, all right, man, we ain't make it to that room until 30 minutes later. We was we, we was gonna go in the elevator. But so we like, man, this is the elevator. So we gonna go up the stairs. We made it to the top of the floor we were supposed to be at. But then she had on the skirt and I was like, man, fuck that. I need like 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? And we was right there on the staircase. It was cameras. Like I know the hotel scene that we ain't care. Say that, yeah, that, that was weird, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no telling who's gonna come up them stairs. Exactly. <laughs> come walk out on y'all. What I had was we took them in the woods. This. At the park. <laughs> I ain't oh, and it was, him. and it was people walking I was around. Scared. No, that ain't the weirdest one. What's the weirdest one? The mean? weirdest one. This was your fault. The weirdest one. We had a party. At no, a hotel. No, no, don't lie on me. That's no, fuck that. We had a party at a hotel, right? That was your party. I had my cousins your there. <laughs> I had my homies there. It was women there. This nigga, my cousin, encouraged her ass, and we ended up fucking in the middle of the floor on the bed in front of everybody. Like I said, that was your fault. And everybody sitting on the side of the bed That's talking to me like, Yo. they doing like this. They like this. Hey, is it hitting good? You like that shit? I'm like this. I'm like this. Can you see me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't say that. I'm sitting. I'm like. I'm in the bed, just like yeah, yeah. My cousin on the side of me, like, cuz, is it here? I'm like, you gotta stop talking to me. Come on, we're playing too much. Hold on. She like, yeah, yeah. My other cousin on the other side, I'm like, hell, cuz, get that shit. How much? How much? I get some. It's like 20 people in the room. They're like, yeah, y'all, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, God, this ain't right. This ain't <laughs> <laughs> This nigga woke up, woke up the next morning talking about some. What happened to my other side? I'm Man. like, y'all, it's in the shower. I still don't know how it got in the shower. Wow. pictures. They was like, y'all went from the bed to the shower. Wow. I was like, what? My homeboy said, he was like, yeah, I came in the bathroom and y'all was fucking without the shower on. I, <laughs> Damn. I stayed for a minute. Y'all ain't care what I had to leave. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. And there you go, behold, Juicy Dick for Entertainment. That's where it all started. Yeah. <laughs> that, it makes sense. It go, it go with y'all life though. Like you might, y'all might as well <laughs> did what y'all did. But be the first one in Detroit. That's big. Yeah, gotta that's think big. outside the box. Yeah. I'm, I'm always looking to be a trendsetter. So. So y'all told us um, when the website drop. Uh, I'm gonna give it. Late December, beginning of January, before she go on tour. I'm, I'm gonna do it like that. We just, oh. want, we just want to make we sure it's right. Yeah, y'all yeah, was about to say what, what's uh y'all got more events or like anything y'all other than like interviews in Detroit y'all going to y'all doing y'all got scheduled because I know y'all always be in Atlanta. You oh, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Atlanta just they trying to put us on their network for porn on the on the TV thing. I was like, what? What time y'all gonna show that? <laughs> right. But uh, no, right now we just doing uh, interviews. We she wanna set up an event. I don't know if she wanna type of event she wanna do this yet. But I know um, her first event definitely is in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, for a tour that we on, which Super T is gonna be on that tour. But she not gonna be. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, not the adult shit. Event. She got her music thing going on. Then we got After. some other stuff going on. Right. Yeah, After hour uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's supposed to do a live event at a mansion that we got out in the limit. So we're gonna see what's going on with that one. So um what but else? you can catch on the porn hub though for right I was about to say what uh, where where else you at on like all you on all the porn sites or are you just on one, two? I'm on porn hub right now. Um I will be on red tube soon. Also I'm my website coming out and hopefully for the first of the year, and then also on Instagram, okay, you know, some clips of the scenes on my Instagram as well. Okay, it's all juicy dick all fruit. juicy dick fruit at juicy dick fruit anywhere you can find me. Hey man, shout out to our cameraman. Oh, yeah, what's up, yeah. man? Man, man, from the block to the boo, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? And shout out to that man. You asked some good questions too. You actually got a lot, a lot of a lot this of stuff questions. out of us. And it wasn't like I wasn't trying to like in porn. To, I mean, in porn, uh, <laughs> talk too much about you know porn. I was just wanted to go everywhere, you know, within involved in it. Like far as like the, the backlash I asked y'all, you know, shit like that. 
and the kids. That's what my main. That's why I wanted to interview all the kids and the backlash that I seen. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that yeah. all the other shit we we all probably know. You feel me? Yeah. You know. The backlash. But yeah, man, I appreciate it. From the block to the booth, it's your boy Magma. We out, juicy dick fruit. <laughs>